Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we'd like to welcome you back to the 18th annual Derby City Classic. This is day number nine of the event. Uh, we had three main events. The first was Nine Ball Banks. That was won by John Brumback of Owenson, Kentucky. The second main was One Pocket. That was won by one of our finalists in the Nine Ball, Alex Peggy Lyon. And the third main is the Nine Ball event. We started with 406 of the world's greatest players. We have two gentlemen left in the tournament. Neither one has a rebuy left. Before we get underway, we'd like to uh, uh, run a few thank yous by you. Uh, first of all, the Horseshoe Casino and staff here in southern Indiana. Uh, Pat Fleming and the crew with AccuStats Video Productions. Bill Stock, Rick Jones, Brett Baker, and Paul Smith with Bad Boys. They keep the tournament running smooth. Julie and the girls in the front office. Uh, the Billiard Media, Billiard Digest is here. Uh, uh, Paul Franco with Professor Cuballs and uh, also David Thompson with Media and Pool, and uh, Greg Sullivan and Chad Charlotte with the staff at Diamond Billiard Products in New Albany, Indiana. And ladies and gentlemen, can we have a hand for the world's greatest players collectively? Thank you, gentlemen, for putting on such a great show. And last but not least, give yourselves a hand. Without the fans, we wouldn't have a show here. Thank you for coming out. Okay, our two finalists for the uh, third of the three events. And our first gentleman is sponsored on tour by Q Tech Qs. Four times he's won the U.S. Open nine ball championships. Twice he's been the World Pool Master champion. And he's won twice here at the Derby City Classic in the all around from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Please welcome back Mr. Shane Van Boning. And his opponent is a defending champion, and uh, he's once again the all-around champion uh, without, regardless of the results of this match. He's sponsored on tour by Puyat Sports, player representative for Ariel Carmeli Cues, Les Spot. He has a website, alexpegalion.com. Check it out. Please welcome our defending champion from the Republic of the Philippines. He resides in Canada, though, Alex Pegulion. Thank you. Gentlemen, you relax for the first break. We're going to send it to the booth. Mark Wilson, Danny DeLiburro. Take it away, you guys. Akistat's Video Productions presents from the Horseshoe Co Hotel in Elizabeth, Indiana, the 18th Annual Derby City Classic. Along with uh, Danny DeLiburro, this is Bill and Cadona, and Danny, this was a great tournament. Very competitive, exciting, interesting. <laughs> it was. It was a great Great tournament, and uh, every year here at the Derby City, uh, they, they, the best players in the world come here just every year. We had over 350 to 400 players in the nine ball. In this Four event. six. 406 players competed in the nine ball event. 473 in bank pool. And close to 400 in one pocket. Yeah. And uh, wouldn't you know, they came down to the two strongest players in the world in the finals of this match, Paggy Lyon and Van Boning. I mean, it's 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 arguably the two strongest players in the yeah, world. No, no question about couldn't that. Couldn't write a script better than this. Paggy Lyon at the table. He's already won the, the, uh, the master of the table, so... This will just be another feather in his cap, but Van Boning probably has something to say about that. Corner ball in the break, Danny. Now, the corner ball has, go, has been going in quite often. Yeah, almost every game. So, it, whenever you have the opportunity to break the balls, it's imperative, but it's so crucial and important to keep the cue ball on the table because you are going to get rewarded with a ball in the break. The ball seems to be quite a cluster on this end of the table, Danny. What do you think? Well, if he can run the one, two, three, four, it looks like a five, nine combination. Now, the two will not go into the pocket where he's going to be pocketing the one. So, he's going to have to play precise position on the two. He's overrun his mark slightly. So, he's going to have to cut the two into the upper left-hand corner. And in doing that, he's going to run into the uh, eight and possibly... Probably the make seven. the eight in a billiard. Looks to me like a billiard. Yeah, I think the uh, eight is easier to make here than the two. But it's awfully difficult to play the billiard. You may lose control of no, the two No, he's not ball. playing it, but just shooting the two. 
might make the uh, billiard. He'll have position on the three, but it'll be tough to get to the four. He's going to have to draw the ball here. He's going to go into the eight and draw the ball back. Hopefully ending up eh, maybe near center table if he can do it. Because like Danny said, going from the three to the four is going to be a problem. And he can't afford to end up straight on the three. So he's going to have to cut the two, which is a semi-difficult shot. And Especially he's going to have to with the bridge. Exactly, with the bridge. He's going to have to draw the cue ball back. Here we go. Nope, he played a safety. He thought it was just too difficult of a task. And so therefore, what he decided to do was play a, a good safety. And that's exactly what he's done, Danny. Great safety. You know, everything was just too tough. He, he made a great safety. Now, but, when... When Van Boning kicks at this shot, he's going to have to kick with some speed because there's real no safety kick available here. So in order to get some separation with the two ball and the cue ball, he's going to have to go two cushions toward the two with speed. And then hopefully he can, he'll be fortunate enough after contacting the two, if he's able to contact the two and create I, some separation. I think he's got a one rail kick. That might be a little easier. The you cue ball, you could you could chew the cue ball better. Let's see, uh, let's see what he does there. I think he's got the one railer. Oh, he's going he's going with the one rail kick. This may be the better better way of kicking. Let's see what happens with the cue ball. Oh, he hit it. That's what happened with the cue well, ball. I'll tell you he what. played safe. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. That was an excellent way of playing it. Excellent result. Excellent execution. It was. Maggie Lyon's going to probably have to twirl it around the nine if, if he can do that. He's looking to kick at it now, too. He wants to kick at this three cushions. It's a tough kick. He wants to go three cushions. We'll give him a big ball, and he'll give him separation. Kicked it into the pocket. That's certainly not going to work out for him. No. This is the big shot of this rack, if there is a big shot. Playing position for the three with an angle to go cross table for the four. Yeah, the four is the only problem in this rack. Oh, he's going to get the good angle, Billy. Yep, that was the shot. Now he has a nice angle to go his right cross table for the four. The five sits in front of the pocket. The six, eight, nine... Our position pretty key conveniently for the uh, upper corner pocket. Looks like game number one should go to Van Boning. Yeah, we're, we're, we're watching America's strongest player without a doubt in Shane Van Boning and arguably the best player in the world. Well, from what I've seen, you won't get an argument from me because I always thought Lasseter was possibly the best nine ball player ever. But this guy is making me change my mind. Well, you should know. You've been around. You've watched all of them play. Rack number one goes to Van Boning. He takes the early lead in the championship match. One to nothing. Race to nine. Well, I'll tell you what isn't disputed is his break. He is no. the undisputed best 10 ball breaker in the world, and he doesn't break him that shabby playing nine ball either. In just a second, we're going to see how well he does break him. Because from what have I seen in this tournament, he's breaking about the best of any player in, in, in the tournament that I've seen break the balls. And that's the key to playing nine ball. Keeping the cue ball on the table and making making a ball on the break. And when, when you're breaking with power and you hit, hit the one ball accurately, then you figure to do both of those things well. You figure to make a ball on the break and you figure to control the cue ball. And that's what he's been doing really well in this tournament and that's why he's in the finals. Well, that's one of the reasons why he's in the finals.
Plus, with all the things you described about his good playing, he also has heart, Billy. <laughs> Very yeah. necessary in sports. Mm, he's got the complete package. <clears throat> yeah, watch really, the wing ball fly in. And it's really a pleasure to watch him play at the table. He's really, really a great technician. The five is the wing ball for him. Look at that cue ball. Well, we went forward that time. Made but. a three, I think. No, he didn't. Dry break. Well, that's one of the few times he came up dry. But look, fortunately, the one ball is positioned at one end of the table, the cue ball at the other end of the table, and I believe the five ball is in between both balls, not, not giving Paggy Lyon a shot at it. Yeah, but where do you push now with a guy like Shane? Tie a ball up, that's the idea. Well, he made a combination there. Shane's liable to shoot at this. He's got a thin hit, but he shoots these kind of shots. And I kind of like what Pagulain did and how he hit the two ball with the speed that he hit it with. If he would hit the two ball harder and put it close to the rail, the combination would have been more makeable. So therefore, he wants to make sure the rack plays as difficult as it can play because he's given up the option to Van Boning here. Anytime you give up the option, you're taking the worst of it. Now Van Boning has a decision to make. Is this the type of a shot that I want? Is this a type of a shot that Peggy Lyon can hit good? There's a lot of things going through his mind right now. Let's see how, how good of a decision he makes here. I think he's going to be cutting at the one. It must have been a pretty good, pretty good push because any time a player stands at the table, as long as Van Boating's been out there, it was a good push. He says, okay, I give up. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Now, I'm kind of curious to see what he's got as well. Yeah, when you push, you got to have a plan. Let's see what his plan was, unless it was just poker. He may be trying to softly cut it in and go toward the three with the cue ball. Nah. That's his plan right there. He got lucky. I was playing it. He made the ball inside. If he can't see the two ball, I believe he'll go rail first and play the carom, 2-3. Yeah, he's got a good billiard off the rail. I think that would be the way to play it anyway. Yeah, and he'll have the two in the other corner if he shoots softly. Ball, three That's ball. That's what he did. Bog at the and three. He has the two in the other corner. Exactly, and hit it with the correct speed to end up with a shot on the two. It's not a type of a shot that he that he wanted, but it's certainly makeable. Now this this is a little tricky here. He's got to make it, this is a very this is a little tricky shot. He wants to draw it back, but the side pocket pocket may come into play. He can't go forward because of the position of the six. You can't go that long either, Billy. You got to aim at the eight. You got to aim at the eight, and I totally agree. He should send the cue ball toward the eight here, or in between, which that is was which is good. better. Now the six to the seven to the eight. Uh, it's not easy. And this is not really an easy out, but it's certainly, certainly uh, an out that he can handle. But it's not easy by any means. He got good. Now, I like for him to play the seven where he's standing now. It's, a, it's very tempting to play the seven at the other corner, but you got to get a cross table for the eight. So therefore, play the seven in the same pocket, your pocket the six. That way you'll end up with a nice angle to go cross table for the eight. Don't hit it. Well, that's he what he didn't want to do. He didn't want to hit it. I know he didn't. Now he's got a, another decision. Do you play cross side? Do you play cross corner? Do you play a thin cut? Or do you play a safety? He's looking at the cut. Hmm, I don't know. 
He don't know either. He does have a pretty good safe. He can two rail the uh, seven to the end rail. You know, he looked at the cross side. He didn't like that. He backed away from that. He's looking at the cross corner. No, he don't like that. Actually, what a dilemma this is. There's nothing out there that he likes. He's scratching his head now. And I'm kind of curious to see what he does choose. And like, he does have a safety as well. He can go two cushions with the seven and also cross table with the cue ball, putting the seven behind the eight. That's the best shot, Billy. He says, I'm going cross corner short. That way I'll leave distance and nothing close to a pocket. Good shot. Well, Van Boney's challenge, challenge with this bank here because I don't really see any type of a safety here, Danny, do you? No, unless he wants to try to go behind the eight. That'll be tough because you got to hit the uh, seven pretty full to do that. Or you can bank the seven right, right where he's shooting from, but you got to hit it with good speed. He's banking at it, Billy. Watch the two rail bank. Watch the eight. Nothing there. And it looks like he's left them half safe. I say half safe because it's, it's a difficult shot. It's very missable. But I like the player at the table. I like his chances. Should cut the six ball or the seven ball in the, in, in the pocket where the eight is sitting. Yeah, he'll do that. No, he didn't. Oh. <laughs> And that's a shot that he hit it on the non-professional side. That shot should have been overcut if it, if it was missed, not undercut. Yeah, now it looks like he's going to fall behind 2 nothing. He'll draw the ball here. And Boning plays with a cue about 64 inches long. There's not many balls he can't reach. And you know why he does that with the long cue? Tell me. Earl Strickland was his idol. <laughs> yeah, that's and right. And he's copying Earl Strickland because Earl's got a long cue. Well, rack number two goes to Van Boning, as rack number one did. Now he leads 2 nothing in a race to 9. And the last time he broke the balls, he came up dry. Didn't really give up a shot on the 1 to uh, Peggy Lyon. And like you say, that's rare for this guy. Very rare. But I tell you, he hits that one ball square every time he breaks. He's almost perfected the break in oh, terms of hitting the, wing the one ball. The ball is the 2. Flew in, and a couple others. And the nine ball went in. Oh, that's a win. It's going to be very difficult to beat a guy that breaks the balls like Van Boning. Did Especially you see if he how plays fast the wing well. ball went in? Yeah. Yep. I saw the, the, this, the, the five balls the wing ball this time. Went in almost the speed of light. You know what the speed of light is, Billy? The speed of light is uh, as fast as it was when that guy took a picture when uh, okay. Pagulai was shooting the nine ball to win. Or, or Kulo, or was it Pagulai? Yeah, Pagulai. Wow, it didn't go in that time. No. I don't think he's going to get a ball here. Nothing went in. And he's going to leave a fairly difficult shot on the one one that had, uh, he's going to have a, a tough decision here to either he wants to cut it in the corner or play some sort of a safety and I wouldn't be surprised to see, to see him do either because not only is the shot tough but position is tough as well he may be going in back of the seven here or the six yeah he can do that good shot you got him. Now, had the two ball been in a natural position, 
off the one. He may have tried to cut the one, but it wasn't. So therefore, he, he had to overcome two hurdles. He had to make a p tough shot on the one and come up with a shot on the two. So because of those two things being fairly difficult, he decided to play a cinch safety. Very, very well thought out. Let's see if he, let's see if he gets paid off for it. Well, to kick this ball, you're going to have to come with a lot of spin, a lot of right-hand English. Yeah, no, he's going to kick it to, to make it. He hit it. He left him a bank cross side. The two ball seems to have tied up against the five. He should take a look at the two and the five now to find out where he needs to be on the two. Or maybe he'll play the nine, Danny. That's he the best could shot. play the nine here. Uh, that's what he gets my vote to play the nine. He's playing the nine. The nine's sitting pretty good. He didn't make it. Uh-oh. He's got to worry about Van Boning making it now. Now, the bank that Van Boning has on the one to the nine is laying a little awkwardly. It's off angle, and it's close to the rail. Yeah, but because it's off angle, he could play safe, too. But you he know? don't want to play safe. He wants to play that no, nine. No, he's playing the nine, but the cue ball is going towards the four, I think. If he draws it, he might go draw it under, this, under the six. But it's all nine ball. He's playing the nine, of course. This has to be hit well. It did. And yeah, he hit it well. See what I said? He went behind the four. It was safe, too. Well, it looks like that Van Boning is really taking control of this match, Danny. He's won the first four games in a race to nine. With his break and his understanding of the game and his skills, uh, Tough to I catch. don't want to be Paggy Lion. But then again, maybe I do want to be Paggy Lion. He's got a bunch of money He's coming. He's got a bunch of money coming. Yeah. Yeah, he, he won the bank pool. One pocket. Oh, yeah, he won the one pocket. He didn't do good in bank pool. But he won the one pocket. Now here he is in the nine ball, at least second place, automatically winning the money. The three ball. Or the five it was. No, he didn't break him that well that time. The, one, the, the cue ball almost scratched in the side pocket, but he did pocket a ball. Now he's got a shot on the one. After pocketing the one, the cue ball will then go toward the three and the two. So I think he's going to have to take his chances here. He would like to. He would like to hit the two, just so he can stay on that side of the table with the two. He overcut it. Overcut it. I'm not quite sure if he didn't try to overcut it. Well, whatever it is, Alex doesn't have much. I don't even think he can see the one ball. He may have to kick it. Yeah, he does have to kick. The cue ball position on the rail really makes this kick a lot tougher because you can't spin it as much as you could if it was off the rail. He wants to hit that three, which he did. And now he's, he's left Van Boning nothing on this. I don't even think he can bank the one cross side <laughs> because of the two ball, the way that's positioned. So therefore, this is a very difficult safety here. He's cutting he's, the one. If he can cut the two, the two will go... Off the three inside. And that's what he, he looked at that. Yeah, that's what he was looking at. It's but, a thin uh, hit. And it's a very difficult shot. But, of course, what does he have? If he doesn't have a safety, your shot cutting the, the one into the two off the three in the, in the side may be the best choice. Well, he did have a bank. I didn't think he could bank it cross side. 
Well, he did. He's got another bank, but it's it's too wide. But now he can cut the two off of the rail into the three into the side, I believe. No, I don't think he can do it from that position. It's I a think, thin head, I buddy. think he's got the bank. You think so? Yeah. I got a better look at it than you. It was a little wide. He didn't miss it by much. I think uh, Alex got a shot at the two. Yep. He's going to need a shot. He trails four to nothing. Yep. Now he's tried to, de to determine if he does have a shot. Oh, he has a shot all right. Good shot. Good shot. Okay, now the four ball will not pass into the uh, lower left-hand corner where the eight and nine is. So he's going to have to play pretty precise here for position on the four. He's going to have to come down and try to hit the five or come down exactly. that end of the table. Now hitting the five will get him to the four. Well, he's playing for the side, and that's too hard. See, now he's got a problem with not only pocketing the four, he may end up, well, I was going to say he may end up banking it. He's got a bank. I don't know. Maybe he'll just cut it in and go into the eight and nine here. That'll stop him for the five. I think that's what he's going to do. Because if he misses it, he may end up with a hook. Well, he went for the bank, which was, nah. But he's got him safe. Yep, he saved him. I think we're going to see uh, Van Boning jump over these balls there. He jumps pretty well. Now, the now the cue ball position near the rail is going to aid him in jumping over the eight and the nine. He's going to, he's going to be able to bridge it with a more solid bridge. And he's going to be able to get higher because of the, the rail offering that uh, angle that he desperately needs to get over quickly, which he's... Oh, oh no problem. Wow. It was like just shooting it in. But he doesn't have a real easy shot on the five. He doesn't have a bank this time. Hey, this is pretty close. He may have a bank. Oh, I don't think so. Not cross-side anyway. Unless he crosses it, maybe he can do that. Yeah, he can cross this. And he did, and made it. Yeah. Things are starting to get real ugly for Paggy Lyon. Yeah, he's going to be behind 5 nothing. Well, Van Boning didn't win any money yet in the tournament. This gives him a chance to get a bunch. Well, I don't think he has a problem with money, really. He's one of the few players that have really wisely invested his earnings. He sure earned a lot. Yeah, he's in real estate. He has uh, a lot of property. I was talking to him earlier today. He says he's got 12 homes now that he leases out for rent. Oh, that's good income forever. Yeah, and he's looking to get some more. I'm happy for him. Yeah, I am too. He's really a pretty good guy. He is. And loves he helps the game. players. Yeah, he loves the game, you know. Good hearted guy. And a very serious man, both on and off the table. That's the break there. The wing that, ball that's went the flying break. in. Uh huh. That's the He's break. He's got position on the one. Oh, Alex is really in trouble. And he knows it. Might be painless. <laughs> you get beat so bad. I wouldn't be surprised to see him get, uh, uh, getting, uh, being beat. Uh, getting beat, I should say. Nine nothing. Well, Van Boning's already won one match, nine nothing. He beat Eric. From Toronto, nine nothing. All 
I remember at the Executive West Hotel when we had the Derby in Louisville, the Executive West, I watched a young Van Boning battle with a young Paggy Lyon. And it was, that was at the time when Paggy Lyon was regarded as the better player. And Van Boning was making his mark. But that was some time ago. I remember when Van Boning played Corey Duell in his home in his hometown. Corey Duell was was a, a big favorite, and they played a race to a hundred, and I think uh, Van Boning won that match by thirty games. Well, uh, when you're talking about the best player, I mean, if you throw all games in, it might still be Alex. You throw in bank pool, one pocket, even snooker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're not going to get an argument from me there, Danny. Yeah, he's he's a solid all-around player. I rate him maybe the best all-around player in the world. Then I'm not going to argue with that either. If I had to choose a player to be the best all-around player in the world, he would probably be my choice as well. Well, he's dabbing it. Yeah, Alex is in deep trouble. Yeah, he just does things so effortlessly. I mean, it just seems like it's so easy. You're right. You know, when he's at the table, it just looks so easy. And when it looks easy, for some reason, it really looks beautiful. That's how, uh, that's how he plays, you know? He's got all the shots. He's got power. He's got finesse. And heart. And heart. And he's going to have a 6 nothing lead. People are loving it. They're not going home. It's Saturday night and they all go to church tomorrow, so they're not going home. I wouldn't be surprised to see him run the set out. Because the Certainly way the, capable. Yeah, the way the but well, with the way the table is breaking, and the way he's controlling that cue ball off the break, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Yeah, the seven is the wing ball now. That's been flying in. Oh, it's in flying. He's letting that cue, go, cue ball go forward. And, uh, uh, you know, in that time, it's worked out for him. The one and two ball position close to that corner of pocket, very, very makeable combination. The three ball position next to the nine, so therefore from the one to the three, he'll be playing for the combination because of the position of the five and seven. And one shouldn't go far away from the pocket. But he missed it. Finally, Pagelein will have come to the table with a, with a decent shot. But I, but I think that he's going to play shape from, from the 2 to the 3-9. And from the angle that he's left, it's going to be hard for him to get there unless it gets pretty straight on the 2. He's taking a look at this. He doesn't want to play position for the 1, 2, 3, 5. He wants to play position for the 1, 2, 3, 9. That may be hard. Let's see. Oh, well, he's, he wants to get pretty straight on the two here. So yeah, he can, good. So he can draw it straight down table for the combination. Now, this, ha this shot has to be hit good. He's got a slight angle. He knows playing position for the 3-9 is really difficult, but it's the best shot. He's forced to play position for the 3-9, which is a difficult shot, but I think it's his only way out here. So this is difficult, but necessary. Interesting. He's playing position for the combination, and he's playing a cue ball three cushions behind the seven. That's why he played it in this fashion. You sure he's not playing the billiard? No, billiard? he's going to play the combination, and he's going to play the cue ball 
Well, he did play. I don't believe that. See, he, he could have played the combination. Then he could have played the cue ball three cushions around and back at the seven. He, he hit the ball way too full to make the billiard. But the billiard, the combination wasn't any tougher than the billiard. But yet the combination carried a natural safe. I was really surprised to see him play the billiard. Well, I don't think Shane is the nuts to run out here. So he's going to play a safe first. Excellent cue ball control. And a good one. I think he's got to kick two rails. No, oh, he's going to mass it. Good shot. He played it exactly the way it turned out. He figured that if he kicked like he did, he would hit the he would hit the side of the three. The three then would join all those balls cross table, not leaving Van Boning an offensive shot. But he's got a good defensive shot. Oh, he, he oh he got him. Yes, he did. He got him. I thought he was trying to brush the five with the three. That would have got him too. He's got such excellent speed. He's got a fine touch, Van Boning, that is, along yeah. with Peg and Line, of course. But uh, it's just amazing how well these guys shoot shots like this here with a nice, fine touch. You know, Good just shot. hard enough all the time. And people say, how could you hit a shot that softly and have confidence in doing that? Because they're the best players in the world. That's Wait, how. They're checking to see if he got a rail. That's no indication. I mean, what well, is no, it? Well, no, the cue ball got a rail. They're checking to see if the three's frozen. Yeah, okay. If now, it's this frozen. Is a, this is going to be a very interesting shot. What he's going to try to do here, I do believe, I think he's going to try to draw the cue ball behind the seven. And this isn't an easy shot at all. You have to have excellent cue ball control to do this. But if any player out there can do it, it's this guy at the table. Because he hits the cue ball as accurately as any player in the game. He's gonna, I believe he's going to try to cue, draw the cue ball behind the seven here. Don't hit it too hard. You might go right in the pocket. What's going on here? He's saying, if I bank the three into the five, and the three goes back to the rail, even though the ball is frozen, is it a foul? Definitely is not. Okay, and we, he's going to get confirmation from Scott Smith on that before he shoots it, because first, Scott Smith must know, know the rule, okay? And if he doesn't know the rule, then he's going to have to appeal it at that time, because if he shoots it and Scott Smith calls a foul, Okay, let's see if he does that or if he tries to draw behind the seven. Because drawing behind the seven is a shot. Let's see what he does. He's grinning. Drawing behind the seven is the shot. No problem. When you got a touch like a surgeon, you can shoot that shot. And that's exactly what he did. But you got to admit, it's a dirty shot. It's definitely a dirty shot. You know? Sometimes you got to play dirty, Danny. Oh, he hit it. But he's going to sell it out. But he wants to end up straightening on the three. That's that uh, bag of line, that is. Because he's going to play shape for the five, which is a cross table. Yeah, and he'll the, get there. Now, if he's straight on the three, I do believe he's got a slight angle. Just enough. He'll get a cut on the five. But is he going to go down to the, to the end rail, or is he going to force it over? I don't think he has to go that far. Yes, he did. Look at it. He got there perfectly. I didn't think he had to go all the way to the end rail. Well, if he had a slight angle, going to the end rail was a better shot. Because now yeah. he ended up with much a much better line on the five. The score is six to nothing, going to nine, winning championship match. And it's fixing to be seven nothing.
taking a little bit of excitement away from the match with this lopsided score. But we're watching one Perfection. of the best technicians in the world play. So that's pretty good, wouldn't you say? I would say. I think so. They're not Seven getting nothing. a competitive match, but they're getting excellent shooting. There they are. Line zero. Yeah. Seven is the wing ball. Oh, did you see it fly? <laughs> I did. Do you see wow. that? Wow, and look how many he made. Yeah, do you see that cue ball, how well it came back? It stopped where it, it got kissed to the end rail, but he hit the one ball square as you could hit it. Billy, the speed of light is 650 million miles an hour. What took you so long, Danny? I, I wanted you to not, you know, change the subject. <laughs> Tough shot. Pocketing the two and coming up with a shot on the three. Let's see what he does here. He's going to have to just softly roll this. Yeah, what a tough shot. Yeah. He made it. Wow. Now, that's how, that's a testament of how well he strikes the cue ball. In order to roll a ball with accuracy, you have to hit the cue ball exactly in the center. Yeah, that was a great shot. Boy, he can cut the ball. He can hit the paint. Oh, now he's got a two-railer to the five. Van, no, one-railer is yeah, all he needed. Van Boning, in my opinion, is the most prepared player in the world playing pool. He definitely puts hours of his time yeah. in on the table prior to tournaments. Yeah, he, he works. He, he practices the break, the break two hours sometimes. Walking back and forth, racking them again. And he don't want anyone to rack them. He wants to do his own stuff. So whenever you hear that saying, preparation is a big part of winning, you're watching preparation right here. And he's on the hill. People love it. Let's get a shot of Paggy Lyon. He doesn't seem at all perturbed about this. If we can get a shot at him on the camera, because we really haven't seen him much at the table. There's the rack track. Paggy Lyon. I'm looking for Paggy Lyon. Look, let's take a look at him. See, he's enjoying himself. He's like, it ain't nothing. You would think he'd be stressed out. It's like, painless, Look at him. Billy. Look, he's smiling. It's painless. You know? Oh, He's a, hoping that what a character, Shane huh? what runs out here. There we go. Oh. Everybody wants to see Pagaline win a game. Um, Everybody. I don't he think Pagaline wants to. He wants to win a game. I think he's going to win this game here. The two and nine are lined up unless he kicks it in. He might do that. You know what he might, might do? He might push for a kick on the nine here. In other words, just push the cue ball a half an inch to the right. So he got a kick on the nine. Now he'll challenge Peggy Lyon with that shot. Well, the challenge won't be a challenge. Peggy Lyon will shoot. You think so? Yeah. I don't even think he has to push. Well, maybe he's got the angle to he kick. He does. This might come to a close right now. Here we go. He's going to kick at the nine here. He's going to have to spin it, though. Be a, it'd be a really spectacular way to end this match. No, he overcut the nine. And the eight and the nine got frozen up, and it's actually stiff. And what I mean by stiff is that it doesn't go. Alex said something entertaining to the people. Tough layout here. That, that was an intelligent shot. He wanted to open up the nine. He didn't do that. See, he knew there was really not, not much future in trying to run out because of the position of the eight and nine frozen against one another. 
So he said, what I'll do is I'll play a safety, open up the nine, and if I get back to the table, which I'm a favorite to get back to the table, I may have an easy out. Didn't happen. Tough hit. Van Boning really has a killer instinct. He, even though he leads eight to nothing in a race to nine, he wants to win nine he nothing. Wants to hit this ball. He, he wants to win nine nothing. No question about that. He's already won set nine nothing. And you may have some people out there saying, oh, let the kid win a game. No. That's not going to happen. This guy wants to win nine nothing. Look, that was shot. in. Oh, that's, that was very <laughs> reminiscent. That was reminiscent of the shot Ray has made against uh, 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 Earl. Earl Strickland yeah. in the finals. Look, Peg Lyon went over and congratulated <laughs> him for that hit. Oh boy, yeah, that was he, something special there. That, that was special. Uh -huh. You got to have respect for uh, Van Boning. I don't care who you are. You could, you could be his worst enemy, but you got to respect the man playing this game. Billy, I don't think he has an enemy. I never hear anybody say anything bad about the guy. No, I'm not implying that he does. I'm saying even if you were his worst enemy, you still have to respect the man with this game. Nicely executed oh, yes. shot. <laughs> what do you do now? <laughs> you draw back and open up the 8-9? Uh, I, I don't think he has the angle to do that. Do you? Yeah, I think he He's does. He's straight but, on the but four. But that won't get him position on the 5. But he could bank the 5 cross corner. Well, I think he's got that. Here, here's what I think he's going to do. I think he's going to cut the 5 in and then go into the 8 and 9. Maybe. That's what he's got. I think he can cut the 5 in and go into the 8 and 9 now. The people are going to howl if he wins one. And that's what he did. Excellent shot. Excellent shot. He's so happy. Look at him. He really thinks that he's going to win now. Oh, he hasn't Kinda. given up. At least this game. He hasn't given up the match, <laughs> Billy. I tell you what, there's a whole room full of people rooting for him to, to, get, to make this a good match. Not because they favor him over Van Boning, but they just want to see a good match. And if he would come back in this match, this would be one heck of a match. And it all starts right now. So if he can get out this rack and then string some games, string some racks. Well, he could string them because that wing ball is going in the pocket. Yeah, you're going to see some noise here. Yeah, he's a funny guy. He's and like you said, Danny. He's really, really good for the game. No question. You know, he's a really a popular player. Very charismatic. You know. We're getting the players' break. Okay, we're uh, the players are going to go on a break. We're going to go on a break. We'll be back as soon as they get back. Okay, Peggy Line is back in the uh, pit area. Rack, he just uh, racked the balls, and we're going to see rack number 10 here. Eight to one in favor of Van Boning, race to nine. But this guy's not out of it. The six balls, the wind not ball. Not out of it. Six might fly right in that pocket. No, it didn't. There's the two, two ball. ball. Two ball. He and needs position. it. He's got the two. Three position. ball position at the other end of the table, Danny. He may not have a shot on it. And if he does have a shot on it, 
How do you get to it? The nine might be straight in. The combination, three, nine. Very difficult task going from the one to the three. Cue ball position very close to the, to the side rail. This shot has to be hit accurately because he's going to hit it with some speed. And when you hit, hit this shot with a follow with some speed, the cue ball is going to sort of like lengthen out. You may not be able to get to the three. You can kick it. I think the nine is close to being dead. <coughs> he's got to get by that ball. Oh, he's got it. Okay, does, does he have a cut on the three? Or does he have know. a kick on the nine? Either shot is difficult. Even if the nine was lined up well, he would have to hit it perfectly You're right. on it'll, the kick. It'll throw anyway. Right, so that shot's difficult even if it's lined up good. He's looking at it. I like his chances better at cutting the three in. Yeah, I don't know if it goes by the nine, though. See it? It was dead. Oh, it was good. It was That's dead all the way. Yeah, rack number nine goes to Peggy Lyon. And now he has two beads on his side for Van Boning's eight. And I'm telling you, he hasn't given up yet. Excuse me, that was rack number ten. Uh, uh, my mistake. But two beads to eight. Uh, he can't, he'll, he'll afford to make another mistake or any mistake hereafter. It will be curtains for him. History. He knows it. He's changed his breaking a little bit. He's going to the side rail to break. Let's see what kind of production he can get. The five is the wing ball, Billy. It missed again. Yep, he wants to find a spot to where he can start producing on the break, and he hasn't found it yet. But he did pocket a ball on the break. He has a shot on the one. Two cross table, three near the foot spot. He's got a chance to run out here. Yes, it's not an easy out, Danny. Five to the six to the seven is difficult. Especially when your opponent's on the hill. That makes it a little rougher. You know what he could do here? He could play shape for the three and and move the eight. That way he can shoot the five and draw back for the six. Nope, he's not doing that. Now, when he plays position from the five to the six, that's a problem. You know, he's got to play exact for the six to get back down table for the seven. And he's got to shoot the six in the same pocket he's shooting the three in. This is going to be very difficult because he's got to get below the six. If he stays high on the six, that means he's going to run into the eight, and he doesn't want to do that. He's going to go cross table so he can cut the six to his right. This is the big shot here. That's perfectly positioned. Yeah, he got there. Perfectly positioned. Good speed of the cue ball, leaving himself an ideal angle to go one cushion toward the eight. Now he'll want to go past center table. He'll apply about a half a tip of right English, which will send him in line for the eight. He wants to end straight in, straight in on the eight. He did get it. Now he's playing perfect right now, but he's got a lot of playing ahead of him if he expects to win this match. People are loving it every game he wins. Yeah, he's going to push another bead to his side. Now he has three beads on his side. But he still hasn't found the spot to make the corner ball, Danny. And so therefore, you know, this is going to be a tough task right here sustaining his run if he's not making the corner ball. He 
He's got to win two more games, put him on five. Once he gets to five, then winning now becomes a, very much a reality. And that's when the start pressures start coming in. But he's got to win at least two more games here. Nope, he didn't make it. Make the corner ball. He hasn't made anything, but he got a good kiss off the five, sending the one to the cushion, not leaving Van Boning an easy out. So therefore, the suspense is still there. Van Boning at the table, needing only one game, but doesn't have a good shot. And a decision to make. I don't really see too much of a safety here. He may be forced to bank this underneath him. And maybe he'll bank it and send the cue ball behind a six and not try to make the bank. That's That shot's available. Well, we got a nice kiss there. Yep, Peg Lion's got a kick. He's dead snookered. He's got a kick to hit the one. Okay, now, uh, Danny, how would you play this kick? Oh, I want to hit it two rails. I want to go two rails with the cue ball and cut it thin. Because when you hit the second rail, the cue ball has a chance to get safe. Don't hit it one rail. Hit it two. And let's see if he agrees. One rail, two rail, and he made the one. That's why he I made like the it. one. Yeah, that's why you kick two rails like that. And that's what he got. That, that's the extra he gets playing it like that. Not only does he create separation, and maybe the cue ball could get safe, but he has an outside chance to pocket the one. That's what he did. He's got a chance to win another game. Yep, he's got a chance. Falling on the fours, no problem. Falling on the fives, no problem. There's no problem falling on anything. Just yep. don't miss. Yep, it, it looks like this is, the, this is the shot from the three to the four. Even if he ends up where the cue ball is now, we'll, we'll be okay. Not see, good. See, the five to the six is no problem, and the six leads him to the seven, as we can see. Yeah, no problems here. He should get out. No, he almost missed that, I thought. But what <laughs> he needs to do, Danny, <laughs> what he needs to do, he's got to change his break. He's got to go away from where he was breaking the balls from and try to find another spot to break them from. Well, meanwhile, he's going to beat Pagaline four in a row. He I, feels like winning, I'm telling you. Yeah, I would like to see him once he runs out here, and I'm putting the cart before the horse, I know, but once he runs out here, I'm thinking he should change the position of the cue ball off the break. Had he had a slight angle on the six, he could have drifted down and played the seven in the other pocket, but he decided he didn't want to fool with the eight. So that's why he opted to do what he did. If he's able to put the eight and nine down, he'll slide another bead to his side, and then he'll have four. But he's got to change the way he's been breaking the balls. He can't break it from that rail. He's got to change it. People are loving it. Peg Lyon's not like I mean, Van Boning's not liking it. The last two times he's broken from that rail, he has not pocketed the corner ball. Matter of fact, he didn't pocket any balls the last time. He's He's got to change it up. Break from somewhere else on the table. Closer to the center. Break, well, he's not doing it. He's going right back. I'm not liking this. Five is the wing ball. We made the other corner ball, and he's got a shot. Yes, he look, does. He's got a shot. He's got the one in the corner, two in the lower left, three in the opposite side 
of the table in that corner. This is getting very exciting. The four is off the table. He's got a nice angle on the three to go to the five. The six ball position on the foot spot. The seven is very convenient to the eight. He should get this rack. And all of a sudden... It's a match. This is getting a lot more interesting. Good chat. Yeah, he wants to he wants to stay down that end of the table for the three so he can cut it to his left and then draw the cue ball up that rail. The three to the five is the big shot, and that's why he's no, taking this much time. Billy, the five goes in both pockets. But the three to the five is the big shot. I know, but the five goes in both pockets. He but doesn't... You, but you don't want to play to the short end of the table. Well, only if you got to not get snookered by the eight. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. He's going to have a good angle to get that. And that's what he's deciding right now. He's deciding where he wants to play the five. Of course, you want to play the five in the closest pocket, but that, but like Danny said, that may not be the right pocket because of the position of the eight. And the angle that he's left himself with on the six is a little too steep to hold it for him, for the three. Oh, the, yes, he'll have the perfect angle here. See? He can go one rail to the... Yeah, see, now, he, see, see what I'm saying? Oh, he oh, missed he, it. He's got, oh, he missed the ball? He missed it. Oh, he had a bad angle on the two. He couldn't hold the cue ball. Well, the three is so close to the pocket that you could cheat the pocket. I'll bet you Van Boning plays the uh, five and past the eight. Well, took a lot of suspense away with that miss. Van Boning at the table, run, trying to run out to win the championship. There we go. Now he has an option here to play the five in 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 the pocket that it's close to, or the pocket that it's furthest from. Yeah, you know, he's got his choice here. Either way, will be fine. He's going to play it in the pocket that it's closest to. Yeah, he got it. But he's got such great cue ball control. His speed is just impeccable. I mean, it's just amazing how well he controls the speed of the cue ball. Well, he has some speed shots coming up right here. He wants to get the angle on the six where you don't go into the nine. He's going to do that. He got pretty good, Billy. Yeah. He's in pretty good line right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid the match is coming to an end. And then once this match comes to the end, the Derby City Classic will come to the end. The 18th Derby City Classic will come to the end. The tournament that everyone, everyone out there, just waits all year for this tournament. And it looks like in a couple strokes, it'll be all over. Yeah, it's history. And we can all go back home saying, we got to wait another year <laughs> for the Derby City. Yeah, you're right. I, I get sentimental when I leave here. This is the last shot, it, well, it figures to be, of the 18th Derby City Classic coming up. And if it is, Van Boning will win the championship of the nine ball division. And he might be the best nine ball player in the world. Very it was a great tournament. Yep. 
It was bittersweet, Danny. The sweetness was to play, and the bitterness is it's all over. <laughs> and it's all over for us, too. See ya next year at the Derby. Introducing Lucasi Hybrid, a whole new level of performance and technology. A cue with the revolutionary X-Shocks dampening system, eliminating vibration. G5 grip technology for enhanced traction and stability results in maximum cue control. Total sweet spot construction means unmatched power. And the zero flex point ferrule provides dead-on accuracy, giving you the confidence you need in every shot. Lucasi Hybrid, the only cue that matters.